Investigators are still trying to pin down the cause of a deadly fire in Springfield that killed three people. Witnesses there say residents were jumping from the windows of the apartment building to escape the flames. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ken McLeod. And I'm Katie Brace. Four others were also badly injured in the fire. Let's get right out to Jim Smith, who's live in Springfield tonight. Well, Katie and Ken, investigators are working into the night right now, trying to figure out how this fire started. Take a look here behind me. Members of the Springfield Fire Department have been joined by investigators with the state fire marshal's office. In fact, they have been here all afternoon long. This is a fire that has taken a terrible toll. And I seen the smoke coming out of a building. A horrific scene on a frigid Sunday morning in Springfield. A fast moving smoky fire tearing through a multi unit apartment building. Fire crews found a desperate situation. People screaming, leaping out of windows. The uh, ladder company was trying to get the ladder up and they couldn't even get it out of the bed and people were coming out the windows. We had fire extending to the third floor. People were jumping from the windows on arrival. We had heavy black smoke at the end of Belmont. We're getting multiple calls. People were missing and then three bodies were found. A woman passing by called 911 and tried to help. Went to the back. I seen the fire coming out the second floor. Lady yelling, my baby, my baby. Um, she had another little girl with her. Next thing you know, I seen another lady coming out the window. And yeah, we were just trying to do the best we can. In addition to those killed, as many as 80 people have been displaced, some of them temporarily sheltered in a city bus. It'll take a long time for this neighborhood and the city to heal. Uh, sympathy and condolences and, and encouragement to the families that are, are affected. And I also want to thank our brave and dedicated firefighters and men and women in blue who responded uh, very quickly uh, to the situation. Frigid temperatures and weather and the wind was uh, whipping and howling, which made uh, always add to difficulties. Tonight, the city is mobilizing to offer help for the people who were hurt and also for those who continue to be homeless as a result of this fire. This is a blaze that no one here will soon forget. Live in Springfield, Jim Smith, WBZ News.